Alright guys, in this video we're going to be taking a quick look at the Pro Laser 4 brand new resource that I'm releasing. Uh, this is going to be version 1 release. Um, I'm over at Worldwide RP using their server um, just to demo this. They have graciously allowed me to test and um, provided some valuable feedback and bug fixes for this resource. So to start, we're going to do slash lighter weapon. Um, so this will actually equip the custom weapon model for the LiDAR. And uh, that will put it in your inventory. Um, you can execute this command. You can integrate this with another script if you want to execute that command. Um, like a menu, for example. And I'm just going to equip that now. And the window will break. So now I have the LiDAR gun out, as you can see. But my display is not up, so I'll hit I, or I can do slash LiDAR. It's going to go through a quick self-test um, process, just um, just like real life. It does a self-test, ensures that everything checks out okay. And now you can see my LiDAR display in the bottom right-hand corner of my screen. I haven't clocked anyone, so it's just going to be filled with dashes right now. So let's go ahead and pull the trigger here. You'll get an audible feedback for the lock. It displays the speed, the distance, and the time since the last lock, just like the real life counterpart does. We lock another vehicle. After we point right on it, they'll give me their speed as well. So, with that, I can go back through and view my previous lock. So, let's say I lost the lock, or um, it was the car before that that I actually want to stop. I can hit the right arrow. And it's going to cycle through all my different locks. I can hold it down to the speed scroll. That'll allow me to go all the way back. It's going to store up to the last uh, 100 clocks. And holding down the left arrow will bring you back to this display. The LiDAR display also shows you the direction of travel. So there's a down arrow in the left hand side there that's showing that the vehicle is coming towards me. If I were to shoot a vehicle going away from me, it'd shoot across the median. Not really realistic, but uh, it'll show you that they're going away from you. There we go. So the direction of travel is going to be um, indicated there. And a little lock symbol will appear whenever you're not locking someone or not clocking someone and the previous speed is displayed. Now let's take a look at the LiDAR tablet. Um, so this is a pretty cool feature it's called LiDAR records. This is a command to open it up. I oh, forgot the S there. So this is a tablet view to try and represent kind of like a computer application that would aggregate all of the clocks. So this shows my clocks and other players' clocks. It is delayed by six minutes, up to six minutes, um, but it's a really cool resource to go in here and you can see kind of like, where's your biggest feeders? So this is just this current page. We'll go ahead and display all of the clocks here and you can start aggregating. Wow, there's a lot of activity down here. Um, now the way we have this configured here at Worldwide is that it only logs, only saves um, speeders. So you won't see any green markers here, but that is a config option for you. So I can also select um, just my own. So these are all the clocks that, um, that I have. I personally haven't uh, clocked anyone um, on this server um, that's a player. I can sort by speed, so here's our highest speed. I can look at the where it was at, who it was clocked by, the timestamp, and the specific record ID. I can go to the map icon for that. So if I go back to all players, it'll pull that up. I can go back to this page, just play this page only. It'll give you a geo location uh, picture for that. So you can see since we sorted by speed, these are all going to be greater than 10 miles an hour over. That's why they're all red. I can print this clock. So it actually gives you a printout view. So if I click on that, this will appear. 
gives you information about the LiDAR gun, the user, um, when it was self-tested, what some of the accuracy specifications for this resource, um, specifics again, and a little printout of, of where it clocked you at. So if I click this button here, they go ahead and print this, and I can open it up in my browser. Um, I can use it on Discord if I want to try and argue uh, this in like a legal case, for example. Um, a lot of cool resources uh, and, and ways to use that. I can apply a speed filter, so uh, let's go back and sort by lowest. Maybe I want to get only everyone that's above 60 miles per hour, for example, um, or 70 miles per hour. So I can apply a speed filter to it. Um, can navigate through the different uh, pages. So that pretty much covers everything else um, in terms of the LiDAR tablet. One other thing I wanted to show you guys was what we call a cosine error. So um, as the angle between your instrument, in this case the LiDAR gun, and the vehicle becomes greater, we're actually going to see a reduced speed. So if I go here, let's wait for this car to get out of the red light. He's going to come up to speed. I'm going to continuously clock him until he's in front of my vehicle. And you start to notice that as he comes in front of my vehicle, his speed is actually going to vary quite a bit and be reduced. So we take another car, 41, now 21, 4 miles per hour. So that's called cosine error as the, in mathematical terms, the tangent of the LiDAR beam becomes perpendicular to your vehicle, right? We can't actually detect how fast that vehicle is going because it's just going to bounce off the side of the door. We're not actually going to get a second. Well, we'll get a second clock, but it'll be basically in the same position. Um, and thus, you have kind of a realistic aspect to it um, that officers should be parallel to the roadway. Um, I think IRL at somewhere around 17 degrees is the maximum angle. Um, otherwise, you're going to start seeing that reduced speed whenever you're clocking someone. So you're actually not going to get an accurate clock speed. So that's some mathematical jargon, um, some LiDAR ideas. Uh, this is more explained on the documentation if you want to learn more about it. Let's take a look at the heads up display or the first person um, display. So I'm in here in my car. If I hit the trigger, you see a little display come up. I can clock their speed using the on-screen HUD. If I hit C, I'll get a sniper uh, scoped kind of view, and I can scroll in and out. So we'll do a clock vehicle over there. They're coming at me, so we're going to get a plus sign. If they were going away from me, we'd get a negative sign. Um, I think right now, just based on the way I'm positioned, uh, it's difficult for the game to determine if they're coming towards me or away from me. So that is a view inside um, the first person. I can look out my right window. A little difficult, get stuck on the chair there. But this can be cool if you set up uh, perpendicular or parallel to the roadway. You can look out the back of your vehicle. So we'll look at that. So we can kind of shoot out um, back this way. Kind of like IRL, normally an officer might crack their door and lean out the side. So really striving for some realism here. Um, to a limitation, obviously IRL, you can't shoot out of uh, your windshield or any other glass object. Um, we don't simulate that. Um, basically the only limitations inside your vehicle are gonna be, you can't shoot from here to here. Obviously you'd have to shoot through your back windows, stuff like that. So. That's not simulated. Um, the max angle is somewhere around 78 degrees to, or 178 degrees to the left and 78 degrees to the right. So, yeah, that pretty much covers everything for the LiDAR. Can't show you the actual texture. Oh, maybe I can. So there's a little texture demo. Um, we did the glass texture on the ends. So yeah, 
If you want to learn more, check out the links in the description um, or on the GitHub page. Um, check it out. Thanks.